Hello and welcome back to our RTS series. In this episode we're going to work on our infantry and get them moving with animations and be able to discern them from their enemy counterparts so that we can do attacking in future episodes. So first of all let's start with animation. For this we're going to create an animation blueprint and we're going to choose our skeleton. skeleton. Okay, And this will be unit anim. And in the unit anim, uh, we're going to set up a state machine for this. State machine. And call that one locomotion. And go into it. On the entry for this, we need an idle state. So add state. And do idle. And inside the idle state, we're going to double click on that. And we're looking for anim infantry 01. You drag this out, and from there we're going to plug in the result as such. Okay. Now, if we've got different units with different anims, what we can do is make the animation a pin on here, make it as variable. So over here on the right hand side, you'll see sequence anim inventory idle. Go to bind and expose as pin, and it now comes out like a pin. And drag from there and promote to variable and we call this one idle sequence and that will go through that that way we can set different idle sequences based on whether or not they're archers infantry mage so on so forth so we'll hit compile on that and then we'll go back to our locomotion state machine we're going to drag this out from here and do add another state and we'll call this one movement. And on movement, we're going to put in infantry walk and run. But this will be on a blend space. So let's go to our create a blend space. And this will be a simple um one dimension blend space, a so blend space 1D. Choose the correct skeleton, character skeleton. It'll be unit walk run blend space. And quite simply, all we're going to do on here is set the horizontal axis here to speed. It goes from zero to whatever the max speed we set them to. So our unit infantry, their default speed they have is 600. So go to here and change this to 600. So then we want to drag in our walk and run. So I'm going to put walk here in the middle. One at the end here for our infantry class. If you can put idle at the start if you like. And you can preview this with the holding down the shift key and move this green dot around and you can see it well in action. Save on that and go back to animation blueprint. Inside the movement state, we're going to drag in that blend space. It one walk one blend space. Like that. So and likewise we're going to take the blend space here and we're going to make this have a poses pin and we're going to drag this out and it promote that to a variable call that one the walk run blend space that way you can make unique blend spaces per different character but you'd also here need to be promoted to a variable drag this out promote that to a variable give it a call speed Okay, now we go back to our state machine. Now the transition between idle and movement, double click on here, and we're going to take the speed variable we've just made and check if this is greater than zero. That'll go into. Then we want to transition back from movement to idle, so drag an arrow from movement to idle, and that's going to be speed equal to zero. Again, go back to the root of the animation graph and make sure that this is plugged into a slot first and then slot plugged into the output post. File and save. You should see an idle pose up top. Okay, so now if we go back to our unit base, which is the root object, root character class, 
we're going to have a couple of variables in here. The variables are going to relate to our unit animations, idle sequence and walk end sequence. So we're going to go to unit base and add a variable. This would be the idle animation. And we'll make the have the category here for animations. Just so it makes it a bit easier to keep track of it. I'm going to click on here and search for animation. And you're looking for an animation uh, single animation play data. Uh, it is, hold on. Anim this. So this idle sequence here is an anim sequence base. So we go back to unit base. And then sequence base. And we're going to make that uh, default value over here. Do whatever we want over here. So I'm going to do infantry. Actually, I'll leave it blank. We'll set it on the infantry. So let it be idle animation. Make another one. This is going to be uh, walk one end space. And that is going to be the type of end. 1D or blend space base would be fine and compile that. That's our walk one blend space. I'm just set it to the same category, so animations. So they all appear nicely together. And you can do that for each one, attacking and so forth. Uh, in fact, let's do the attacking one whilst we're here. And that will be a montage. So we're going to add another variable and this will be attack. Uh, montage and that will be up here we change that to a montage and in montage oh, and again I agree um, and that's it okay then all we do is we're going to go into our construction script or event graph we do either way uh, in play we don't begin play um we're going to get our mesh out from there we're going to get the anim instant from that we're going to cast to our unit anim which is our one we just made mesh and blueprint and as unit anim we can now set these values idle animation walk one blend space and attack one time so let's do that we can drag out from here Set idle. Idle animation. And we're going to do set one base. An attack we don't need to do because it's a montage. That's going to be handled elsewhere. Oh, and save that. But now, if we go to our unit infantry. And go to class defaults on the right hand side we should see the options for idle animation walk one blend place and attack montage now choose those animations go to idle uh, infantry idle uh, walk one blend space once you've done that you're going to go back to unit base click on the mesh let's use that anim class we made anim we compile and save this and then we'll go back to our unit anim so we're using the speed we need to set that speed value we we'll go to the event graph and we'll try get porn owner we're going to do is valid do the way one mark and if that porn owner is valid we're going to take this out and we're going to get their velocity velocity is a combination of speed and direction so if we just want the speed out of it take the vector search for vector length that is our speed set speed that in hit compile and save that and that should be done here for our skeleton here play you can see them all idle and if I select them move them see them moving their legs running
Perfect. And that'll do it for this episode. Uh, time's a bit short, so we'll do the uh, team setup next time so we can identify what's a friendly unit and what's not a friendly unit. So we'll do that next time. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch that next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. Watch that part plus many other videos well early for just $1 a month. Shout out and thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. It really is amazing. Thank you again so, so much. If you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit a like. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.